have a really huge confession to make. If there is anything I can truly come forth and tell you about this, it's that I have an addiction. A really, really bad addiction. Now you're probably wondering, and maybe even screaming at your phone, saying, Clearly, tell us already, what is this addiction? <sighs> yes, my terrible addiction is shopping, but not just any shopping, clothing shop. Adidas. I think I'm very much so attracted to the very bright colors. items right here were for the price of $58. The amount of money I could easily spend on clothing in a second is terrible. I'm hoping somebody can relate to me because it can't just be me. However, it has been a long time since I have had a shopping spree. So I only thought, you know, it's been a long time. Summer is coming up. It's time for a little bit of a new wardrobe. All right, fine. Okay, yeah, I thought that I could take you guys along with me and we could go on a shopping spree and it could be really fun. Maybe like a little tiny girl's day. I don't know. Please don't judge me. Come on. However, today isn't just any shopping spree. Today's challenge is to find four of the cutest outfits that fit into these four categories. Preppy, beachwear, loungewear, and casual. We're looking for a man in finance. Six Trust five. five. Trust Six five. Blue eyes. Fine, okay, I'm just kidding, nope. <laughs> We're looking for cute looks that fit perfectly into these four categories, are pretty affordable, and nothing more. If I overspend or buy more than what was on the list, I might have to just go back to the store and return it all. And you're gonna keep me accountable, right? I'm gonna hate this at the end. 5 a.m. and we are in trouble But we don't really care Tell ourselves there's always tomorrow Okay, why does this scream like European beach more than Europe probably does? Actually, I'm just kidding. Until we're in the ground I don't wanna do this I think it's trying to try all of this on before I can't walk anymore. It doesn't matter if they say so. Cause I can put a Let's make I love this shirt actually. Maybe I'll even DIY it because I kind of want more color because that's like really the thing is a lot of color but okay well, look at these shorts I actually think I love these ones the most honestly I brought like a ton of shorts in hopes to like maybe minimize and find the one that I like but I may just actually get all of them no they don't pick us up This is so bad. I have so much clothes right now, and I just want more. This store is the cutest store ever. No, they don't pick us up. Instead, they knock us down. And that's the way it goes until we're in the ground. No, they don't pick us up. Instead, they knock us down. And that's the way it goes until we're in the ground. No, I don't know. I don't know if I feel like a garden fairy or cupcake. It is cute, but I don't know. I feel like I'm going to like a princess like tea party. It's cute, but it's it's not quite there for me. It's so many cute items, but not exactly what we're looking for. Till next time. Beautiful store. Beautiful store. She's the one I'm thinking of. Hey, the only one I'm thinking of. I have no idea, but it's so cute. There are so many to choose from. 
Not really. Yes. Also, yes. Maybe not. Yes. Yes. My mom's gonna kill me, but it's fine. I'm obsessed. Should we go into the next door? She's the one I'm thinking. but it's in there. Let's hope I didn't ruin my bank account too hard. I'm back! I'm just kidding. Beaches, beaches, you know? Like, summer beaches? Yeah, okay, never mind. I, should, I, should, I just shouldn't have said that. I just got back from my shopping spree! Did I overspend? No, 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 I didn't, I didn't. Don't look dumb there, no. Okay, so I hit a couple of stores. There's uh, a couple of things that I got, but we're gonna start off with the beachy look. I wanna say that this one was a little bit harder, but it actually ended up not being too hard. I just had to get like, I had to kind of just jog my memory with what a beachy look would be, other than just like a bikini, basically. We got these. Tell me these aren't the cutest things in the world. I have been looking for these everywhere. The amount of these types of pants that I have in my Amazon cart or in any other clothing cart is crazy. So when I found these, I was like, I have to buy them. I have to buy them right this instant. They're beachy, aren't they? I'd say they are. Shut up, they're beachy. Then to go with that, obviously I think things that are more cotton, flannel, I actually don't know what it's called. The beachy material, right? Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Where is that? <laughs> Just kidding, one second. Okay, okay, look, right? Tell me you understand when I said like a cottony flannel beachy look. Tell me this isn't the cutest thing ever. You can wear it without a bikini, you can button it up if you're wearing your bikini, or you can wear it with the bikini. Ah! Tell me this is the cutest thing ever! I am obsessed, to say the least. Actually, you know what, since we're just already in this outfit, I might as well cut the hassle and just go to the second category, which is casual. I wasn't exactly sure where to go with the whole casual, because I think everyone's opinion on casual is pretty different, but that's a different one. That's all I can say. I was so excited when I found these. And pretty early on, I am the worst at trends. Like I follow trends like two years after. That's probably why I'm now wearing these and not like, just kidding, these are on trend right now too. So, pat on the back, Clay Leia. Not that trends are important. Of course, I am like starting to make my own trends and trying not to completely follow trends because sometimes that's just tiring. Me just already saying that I take like two years to get onto a trend, it's because I don't have the money for this. Your girl's bank account, like I said, does not like this. It is, ah, this is the next outfit. Again, another obsession that just got unlocked. Look at how cute these are. I love that these are in style, but what I was saying, I'm basically just making my own style, as in I'm comfortable wearing whatever, because you know what? Maybe in two years when this isn't in style, I'm gonna be rocking it and feeling totally okay because you know what, girl? We all have different styles. This is helping me realize that I can make my own style instead of having to follow the trends of the world and social media and end up completely broke. So you best believe your girl is gonna be uh, wearing these and rocking these two years from now. Mark my words. I kind of forgot to mention this is the preppy look. So you can tell that it is the really bright colors. I got some white pair of long shorts that are also from H&M, super, super cute. But yeah, this one was pretty affordable. Honestly, I've got to say, clothing in general is not super affordable these days, but you are able to find some specific stores 
that sell more affordable graphic tees because this is a billabong shirt. I didn't even realize that. Pretty decently affordable, so cute. Look at that. Next up is, of course, loungewear. Loungewear is so important for me and my style because I am always in loungewear because I never leave my house. I wanted loungewear that would still be pretty cute. I wanted some like loungewear that would maybe be pretty cute. Maybe there were four options that I had to go and buy. Okay, in my defense, I'm gonna be using this a lot. I'm gonna be using these clothing items all the time, actually all of my clothes. Like I said, you're probably gonna see me wearing these outfits two years from now, so it's an investment, okay? Stop judging. <gasps> okay, this is so cute. <gasps> I have wanted one of these shirts. I used to actually have one of these and I am so, so mad that I got rid of it back before COVID. But this kind of a t-shirt actually has been in style lately. The, of course I'm the one to forget what it's called. <laughs> <gasps> Wait, these are all so, so freaking cute. Ah! I'm sorry, RIP to all of you headphone users. Thank you for still being here right now. I know that this is like a kind of controversial thing, but I love branding on them. I know that it like kind of sucks and it's pretty stupid that it's like a one size thing. There are actually a lot of things that are like really tight in my armpits or like, will just fit kind of weird, which I feel like Brandy Melville could be 10 times more popular if they had clothes that fit everyone. And that was like size inclusive, but I just love, <laughs> I love Brandy Melville way too much. Loungewear, so cute. Oh, that's another reason why I love Brandy Melville. These shirts could be like 18 to $22. What, what, say that again? I know, me too, literally. I mean, that other shirt that I had was like 45 bucks or other shirts can be so expensive, but these are, and I wear these forever. I still have like three. Okay, now I only have one, but I had three of the Brandy Melville shirts. These shirts, literally the exact same. I actually had this one, but it was floral. All right, be that cute top. <laughs> cute, cute top that I love so much. I think that this was a 10 out of 10. I mean, I found, for super cute new outfits and more. Not to mention, I was able to find my own style. I mean, I'm gonna continue to wear these kinds of clothes for a long, long, long time. You know what? Forget about trends. Forget about what's what's super hot right now. Find something that makes you feel good in your skin and makes you feel more like yourself. Something that like makes your personality and who you are pop even more. Because that is where it's at, girl. Maybe that was a little bit cringy, but that's fine. All right, well, that was super fun. I am so glad that you came along with me. Sorry? Wait, 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 sorry, I can't, I can't hear you, what? There's still more, what? I'm sorry, say that. There's still more, there's, oh my gosh, of course, I am so dumb. Guys, there's still more. And that was definitely not the entire challenge. But hold up one second. I just gotta do a, a quick little. Here we are. We're in the UK. Let's go shopping together. Literally, I think this is so, they literally have everything right here set out for me already. Oh, you need some loungewear? Here is all of the loungewear you could possibly need. What are we gonna choose from? Obviously, since we're in the UK, I have to get something that says like, Sweden, of course. So, is this too big though? I mean, not really. The loungewear, they usually are like super, tell me this doesn't scream UK loungewear. There's like so many more options we could choose from. I mean, look at this. I mean, these are huge, but we got those ones. We've got all these different assortments. Look at this color even. That is so cute. I mean, a tracksuit with the same colors. I don't know. I feel like that's a lot more US style, so. I don't know, there's so much to choose from. <laughs> A 
Okay, I think that I've got a little bit much stuff, so let's go try some things on. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is honestly getting quite aggravating at this point. Because there's like, I've gone into the dressing room three times now. I can't seem to figure out what I want. So hopefully this time it'll actually work out. I don't know. I think it's a lot of beige. Yeah? Okay. Can we guess how much I just spent? <sighs> Too much that I don't even want to explain, but we're still not done. So here we go. This is not very UK, this is like super bright, but I'm digging it. Why weren't we here earlier? <gasps> That's so cute! I may be buying more than just these things. Oh, these are so cute. No, no, I don't know how I'd use them. All right, let's see how much I'm about to spend. I'm Cash just, like, number three, please. please. I have always, 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 always been one to love shopping. The addiction that I have for shopping is something that we never really need to talk about. I'm just gonna mention it, but you don't have to say anything, please. Although if you do have a shopping addiction, it would make me feel so much better about myself knowing that I'm not alone. So please spam the comments with you're not alone if you also have a shopping addiction. But anyways, I am super excited because now that I'm in the UK, the beautiful, wonderful UK, I was able to find some outfits very specific to the fashion here. Whilst still, oh, look at her, look at her. She's got the UK grammar now too. Let's just stop with the blabbering and let's get right into the first category. Beachwear baby. So this is the beachwear that you have already seen from the United States. And this right here is the beachwear from the UK. I do have to say this may be the most amount of colors that you will be seeing on me for today, they do really love their neutrals, their very basic colors. So anyways, we've got some linen pants. Also don't mind, my socks are both mismatched. I know, I hate it too. I'm wearing a swimsuit under, I'm wearing obviously a swimsuit top, but I saw a ton of other photos of kind of the beachwear here. I couldn't find too many pairs of shorts. It's also really cold here at the moment. Or I could honestly dress up this shirt because it is very, very warm. I don't know, I personally am loving this outfit. I try to make it as UK looking, but you'll have to tell me. Does this scream UK? Now, the casual outfit is maybe one of my favorites, but it took me so long, so long to find a casual outfit at the store for here in the UK. Not because I couldn't find the right items, because they love their layering. In the dressing room, I literally heard two girls next to me talking about layering, talking about how one of the friends was so excited to be turning the other friend into a layering girly. So I was like, okay, these two girls are from the UK, so I'm gonna take their advice and get myself a little layering look. Here we go, here's my little layered UK look. I love that these like bodices are still pretty in style. I don't know how to explain it exactly. Maybe you can, you know, help me out with my vocabulary and fashion, but I love it. Now I did pair it with a white shirt, but you could honestly pair it with so many different things. So right now I've obviously got this look on, the casual here versus the casual in the United States. I don't know which one's my favorite. I love both of them for different reasons. I have always been one to love the more nude, neutral colors. However, I am loving the new look in the United States too. But I'm gonna leave this up to you to decide and for me to just keep trying on the clothes. All right, 
Well, anyways, I think you get the point. I can change this around, style it with so many other things, but this was the casual look. You're gonna have to tell me what your thoughts are. And which one? was better. Now let's just stop talking and let's get on to the next style, which is the preppy style. Now here's the thing. Here's something that is so, so interesting and something that I love the most about fashion. It can be completely different depending on where you're at, depending on, I mean, the era. You know, I'm currently in my lover's era. So anyways, this was one of my favorites to do and kind of what inspired this entire shenanigans, which was the preppy look. For all of my girlies out here who are just as obsessed with the preppy look as I am, you will understand this. Now here is the preppy look from in the States currently. It is nothing like the preppy look right now. I mean, we have got the dress pants, the two mismatched socks, they are honestly becoming the main character of this. This is the preppy look right here, right now in the UK. And it's always kind of been the same. Now the preppy look in the States is completely different. Completely. I mean, I'm sure all of my UK girlies are out here going, that is not preppy. That's just bright summer colors. But the 10 year olds have broken the internet with the very bright preppy colors, the preppy makeup, the preppy everything. And I am 100% on board for it. So, and something that I love is I'm pretty sure this look right here, we got this coming out, right? The dress shirt with the sweater, with the pants. It was a huge look. I'm pretty sure back in 2021, actually. I mean, I even have a couple photos little reels that I did of me wearing the looks. Now, so this was huge a while ago and it was the preppy OG look. Now the preppy's changed a little bit and I'm unsure which one I like more. Again, I am going to really embrace the Hannah Montana living two lives and just say that I love both of them because I can't choose between the UK and the US looks. So again, I guess it is up to you. Now for this last style, I mean, all I really gotta do is this. And there we have it, we've got our loungewear. Now I'm still wearing the exact same shirt because you know what I love? I love when you can reuse clothing for different outfits and you can switch it up, mix and match, just like style number two that you saw. So we've got the loungewear. Now I decided to go with some other types of pants. I've been loving, I have been loving that they're not cinched, whatever that's called. Okay. I can't do that much more. <laughs> so I changed these up, but usually the casual looks look like this. All of these cute looks. I tried to mix and match and make it my own. I've obviously got the oversized shirt, which by the way, I'm obsessed with because just a little while ago, we went to Amsterdam. And we got to go to the Van Gogh Museum. So if you know, you know. I'll tell you this one. This is the Almond Blossom Vincent Van Gogh, 1890. I love this outfit. I love loungewear, as always. Now, I will say, I do think I really love the US loungewear versus the UK, but it could have also just been because I, I bought something a little bit more basic and something that I would feel very comfortable. These are like super light. So I feel like they're actually perfect for the US because here in the UK, it is very cold. Maybe it's just like, where my family lives, but I think this one I can firmly say that I do love the US a little bit more, but this is still pretty comfortable, so it's up to you to decide. <gasps> and you better be telling me in the comments because I really, really wanna know and I need your opinion because I am the most indecisive person ever and if I wanna be able to make some decisions, I need your help, so I'm expecting those comments, please. Well, that was so, so fun. I'm feeling a little bit better after having spent so much money on clothes, but I did it for you. I took one for the team. Just kidding, I really can't be saying that. I love buying clothes and it's my favorite thing in the world. However, I will tell you, reduce, reuse, recycle, baby. What I wanna say is you don't need all of the newest, brightest, best clothing. Because I actually have struggled ever since I think we started my journey on YouTube with following trends. I was always, and I still am to this day, like months behind, months, months behind. Now the preppy style has been in for multiple months. I'm just now getting into it. All this stuff, it's very expensive. It's very exhausting because style changes all the time. So something I'm realizing and noticing, just like in the UK preppy and loungewear, you can use the same outfits 
you can kind of change them up, you can switch them up, and you can make your own style. Honestly, it's cheaper <laughs> if you make your own style and something that you love, and that's something I'm kind of promising to my... Something that I am promising to myself to do, to have my own style and shine the way that you are meant to shine. Are you gonna join me in this? If you're promising and ready to join me in making our own style and following our own path, again, I'm gonna need you to comment these little emojis right here and I'll know that we're in this together. It's like a little sisterhood pact. So, I guess that's that. Make sure to come and check out this video with me. I'm enjoying hanging out with you and I wanna keep hanging out with you. So check this video out, come hang out with me, come comment with me, come chat with me, and I need you to shut up so that we can go and watch that video right now, bye.